What's poppin' everybody? So today for this video, in honor of Childish Gambino's new album, 31520, I'm gonna be discussing my favorite song from every Childish Gambino album. And this is a series I started a long time ago, back when uh, Igor came out. I did uh, my favorite song from every Tyler album and my favorite song from every Logic album. And uh, after that, I'm not really sure why, I just never continued the series. Um, but, you know, there's no better time than now to start that back up. So, let's jump into it. So, Heartbeat was my introduction to Gambino. My older brother actually put me onto the music video. And beforehand, I had no idea who this guy was. Like, I... I had never heard of Community. I didn't know he was a stand-up comedian as well. So it was just straight up my first ever experience with, you know, Donald Glover slash Childish Gambino. And I, I, I was impressed. It has this like daft punk kind of beat that I really liked, especially at night. Like this beat is nasty at night. And uh, I just really liked that Gambino also did a good job of singing and rapping over it too. It wasn't a song that interested me lyrically because it was just a love song and I was probably like 11 or 12 when I heard it for the first time, so I was more concerned with like Beyblades and shit than love. But you know, despite that, I just knew that the song sounded really good and it still does to me. It honestly became a special song to me in a way because I know there's, there's probably a lot of you that can agree with me on this, but the first song that you hear from an artist that you grew to love, because Gambino is one of my favorite artists now. And so, you know, the first song that puts you on to an artist that you really enjoy is always gonna have like a special spot in your heart and that's what Heartbeat is to me for Gambino. Is it real? Cause you're all alive. 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 This song has one of the craziest beat drops ever. It's the kind of song that you gotta turn down your speaker a little bit because it honestly could pop your speakers if I'm being real. It's like you got Mercury Retrograde right here, I'm sipping tea in your hood right there, and then all the way up here, it's Zealous of Stockholm. And I love that you get such a wide range of sounds and vibes from the song too. The intro has this like, kind of creepy atmosphere to it with Gambino singing about uh, being a good son and heading nowhere. Then it just completely flips to the turn up side with the insane beat drop. And it's, it's honestly really crazy to see how different those two parts of the song are. Like, it, it's legit night and day. And then you get to that weird sample of the lady talking about being a freaky bitch. And then you get to the last part of the song where Gambino is flexing his pen game. There's just a lot he talks about on his last verse. Like, he mixes clever bars with bars uh, about homophobia and monogamy and paranoia about active shooters. Like, it's just... It's a lot to unpack. <laughs> it's just a lot to unpack lyrically and sonically. And I think that's probably the biggest reason why it's my favorite off of because of the internet. Now, I'm pretty sure this might be cheating because I'm about 90% sure Kawhi is just an EP, but I mean, it's listed on his Spotify page as an album, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> At the end of the day, those are really just titles. And with Kawhi, it came down to a decision between the Palisades and Sober, but I eventually chose Sober. And I normally don't like songs this repetitive because on paper, he's just saying, And now that it's over, I'll never be sober. Now I'm so high. Over and over again, but Gambino, he, he found a way to make that work. The craziest part is that the repetitiveness doesn't hold it back from being a, a really amazing track with a lot of replay value, which is hard to do. Like, not many people could take something so repetitive and give it that much replay value, but, you know, that just shows you how good Gambino is. And I also like that with the song, you get another crazy beat drop, and it just, it, it takes it to another level. Me and Your Mama is one of my favorite songs of all time, and it's definitely my favorite Gambino song. There just aren't many songs that have hit me as hard as this song has, and as hard as that beat drop has too. Which is saying something because Zealous of Stockholm was also on this video. And I'm sure by now you guys have noticed the pattern because I would say 
four out of the five songs I put on this video all have really good beat drops. Um, but hey, you know, that's just some of my favorite shit in music, so. And some of you might relate to this, you might not, but it's one of those songs that has uh, affected me so deeply that it's actually made me emotional in the past. And I, it's not because it's a sad song, but because of how good the song sounds. It, it's one of those songs that sounds so good to me that it's actually made me shed tears, which that, that's actually pretty crazy. That's how you know you got a classic on your hands. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys. I wasn't really feeling this album that much, but there were a few tracks that I did enjoy. 4226 obviously being one of them. And this also might be cheating by making Feels Like Summer my favorite song on the album because that song I think was released in either late 2018 or early 2019, but either way, it was released a long time ago on another EP, but I mean, it's on the album and it's by far my favorite song on the album. I honestly think I'll never get tired of it. It's just everything about it is beautiful to me. You know, the production, the singing, the lyrics, the music video, like, it's honestly just one of the best musical experiences you'll ever get. And I love that uh, on top of how cool the music video is and how good the song sounds, it also has a deeper meaning behind it. The hook talks about global warming, the first verse talks about AI and overpopulation, and the second verse is about the extinction of bees and water scarcity. He doesn't go in depth with those topics, but I think that's probably for the best. I feel like if he went into this song being super preachy, then it just wouldn't work. Like, there's a line between being shallow and being pretentious, and Gambino does a really good job of writing that line for this song. High five. All right, y'all, so that is gonna do it for this video. So if you made it this far, I just wanted to say thank you and I hope you enjoyed. And I also wanna see your guys' list in the comments section because I read almost all my comments and I'm just interested to see what other people's opinions are for a list like this. So, you know, if you comment, there's probably a good chance I'll read it. And I also left the links to my Instagram and Twitter in the description, so it would mean a lot if you followed me there as well. And as always, it's been Isaiah the Player, and I'm gone.